What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm doing a review on the Toxic Guns. Brand new gun, brand new weapon that just released by Respawnables. Uh, this is in the brand new event called Trick or Treat. You can, this is the final tier in week one. Um, super cool weapons. I love these things. These things are so cool. Um, they're like the flare gun mixed with the dual revolvers. That's how good these things are. The, these weapon, like this weapon or weapons, is literally overpowered. I think that they're overpowered because of a lot of reasons. Um, we're going to be talking about all of that in this gameplay. Um, I recorded this earlier today when I was running around. Um, I was recording this because I kind of had free time and I didn't have anything else to do after I completed the event. So I just decided, why not? Let me go in, film some gameplay, and then maybe I might upload it later and talk about it for a little bit. So this is that video. So basically, the, the, the toxic guns, dual toxic guns, whatever they're called, these things, if you guys know what the flare gun is, the flare gun... This is basically that form, just rapid fire form of fire or the flare gun. Flare gun, it's like I think it's a one shot. I've never played with it before. I've never owned it, but it's kind of the exact same thing, um, except just it has a faster firing rate and it has more, way more damage. Um, it kills people so much faster than you would think. Um, I thought that this honestly was gonna be a crappy weapon, and I saw it and. I've seen people play with it, and they weren't really good with it, and they kind of died a lot. So, I, I, I think that they were honestly just really bad at the game, because this thing is honestly such a good weapon. And, like, this is probably one of my most, this is probably my top five favorite weapons, because of how good it is. It just does so much damage that quickly. Um, so, if you guys do know, the dual revolvers, this thing is basically the exact same thing. I think it is, because... Uh, the damage it does do and also it has 12 rounds in the clip so basically six bullets in each gun um, it basically it it's a faster firing rate than the than the um two revolvers uh, the dual revolvers definitely do a lot more damage but this kind of does the exact same damage in a way and it does have faster firing rate now also you guys, this weapon is hard to play with. I mean, it takes skill to play with this thing. It just, it's very hard. Um, and I've seen a lot of people that have used this weapon, and they've only gotten, like, five kills and, like, ten deaths. So, this is a hard weapon to play with. It really, truly is. Um, so, hacks. A couple tips that, that will probably help you guys out if you do get this weapon. Um, the one main tip, you really don't want to try and go up against guys that have uh, that have full damp that have full health and are wearing you know like you can clearly tell that they're wearing armor on to give them plus um, defense. If you see someone like that and has full health, you're really probably have a chance to lose because the fact that um, just because this thing doesn't really do that well against um, armor and defense. Um, I went up against guys that had the um, exo suit on, and I did not kill them, and it took me like, I don't know what 12 was, 12, wait, 24 rounds, and I still didn't kill them, it was absolutely insane, and I noticed when shooting this, the range is awful, the range then this thing sucks, I'm not gonna lie, it's really, really bad, so if you guys are kinda like, you know, wanting to get this, like, look, this is how far it, normally with dual revolvers, you'd be able to hit someone that far, now with this thing, you have to be so close to the person in order to even get damage on them. And also, you have to be really close if you want to do like extra damage. Like, I'm not doing any damage on this guy whatsoever, and he's gonna kill me now. See? Now, the main thing, this, just I don't, re I, I mean, I recommend it. Yeah, it's a nice weapon. But you just saw how much damage I did against those guys. I didn't do any damage whatsoever. That's how bad it was. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't even stand a chance against blunderbuss. Like, literally, if you guys get this weapon, I wouldn't recommend to use it in gameplay and more in like combat because you just see the damage I'm doing. I'm not doing great damage. I probably only only got like five kills in this entire match. Uh, that's just because of the fact that so many people are using such good armor and protection against it. So yeah, I only got eight kills um, and nine deaths. Um, so yeah, guys. 
I recommend this weapon, you know, to have fun with in, like, missions or something. But I do not recommend this whatsoever if you are going to go in combat and stuff. And if this is your go-to weapon, I do not recommend that whatsoever. That's just how bad it is. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's my review on the toxic weapons. There's not much to talk about in the game, in the actual, on the actual gun. So, I'm going to see you guys later. Subscribe if you're new. Um, and if you want to join the Junior Clan, do subscribe. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and, and uh, share with your friends. So, this is, a, this is Junior signing out.